33 and 34 lots of the crossbred gilts. We're going to start with the 12-liter belted gilt uh, sired by next to nothing, next to nothing. I spoke so highly on on the way the pigs feed. The Stolquist bred hog we bought as a mature mother would be a dirty secret duke, uh, a, a sow that produced the roar gilt a couple years ago uh, that, that won so much on, a, on the Ohio jackpot circuits and throughout the fall, and we showed a litter mate gilt as well that got along and uh, an older style that's done a good job, but the next to nothings have fed so well. Uh, this gilt here is one that's, uh, you know, awesome in terms of her maturity, in terms of having a little more look and elevation. She's good in her head and neck, and I think one that's going to stay square. She's going to stay good on her feet and legs in terms of her uh, her placement. Her hock's going to stay good. And, and uh, another gilt, I think you could push and make her a market gilt. You could make her one that's a breeding gilt as a big ring one because she's got a little added look from the side and uh, very cooperative kind of a hog at the same time. No, just kidding and she's acting like a jack wagon but uh, uh, she, she's one that I do think is is a high quality gilt that that sounds she's mobile she's correct she's got some shape and dimension and I think one that's going to feed uh, very well uh, she'll feed better than the way she's acting today but in terms of quality we like that gilt lot 34 is going to be next the 14 letter gilt and this one here we're pretty high on her she's a uh, uh, spread the word young love anchor man her mother is actually uh, owned in partnership with Jason Williams uh, uh, good good customers for a long time in Georgia they showed her last year a year ago got along extremely well jackpotting for Whitley there uh, she came from the Farrell firm and, and uh, Calico Gilt that uh, uh, we wanted to breed on her because I thought she had some generating ability we bred her to spread the word which was a no-brainer you breed into those power dimensional sows and it works and I, she does do that she's market breeding do what you want to do with this one because she is stout in terms of her forearm she's got a big hind leg proportions are good she's square she's mobile she's good looking and has a little more dimension for a spread the word uh, we did have a dew claw removed on her one side she will uh, completely heal we'll guarantee her on that but uh, if you see the scar there that's what that is uh, the scab right now but she'll heal up and look good in those regards but in terms of one that's uh, elevated and still balanced and has all the proportions and in a neat kind of a package with some of the extras that guilt needs to be high on the list